last story I saw about Miles, he was in remission, but I have not I have not heard anything in some time now. So maybe we'll get an update. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'll tell you. Going to get cold out here, huh? Yeah, we're looking at a cold night tonight, but we're going to rebound nicely. Of course, we've got a huge weekend coming up. We've got the holiday, Memorial Day, and of course, we've got the Vermont City Marathon. We're yeah. looking good for most of this stuff, and I'll explain as we go here. I want to start you out with current temperatures. They're not that bad. In fact, you kind of look at this weather map, you think, what are you talking about? Temperatures getting super cold. That doesn't look too bad. Well, hang on just a second. It's 44 Plattsburgh, 46 degrees right now, Burlington. We do have a 39 in Saranac Lake. As you head toward Newport, a little bit colder at 37 degrees. 40s coming on down to the south. How about this? Keene right now, 55 and 51 degrees in Bennington. Now, again, we do have a frost advisory in effect up and down the Champlain Valley, midnight until 8 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures low to mid 30s, and then a few degrees colder than that where we have freeze warnings in northern New York and also Vermont and a big chunk of New Hampshire. It is going to be cold out there tonight. Now, here's what's going on. We still have a bit of a breeze out there. In fact, even more than a bit of a breeze. 18 mile an hour winds right now, Burlington, 13 in Plattsburgh. That is helping to keep the temperatures from free falling. The wind is going to pull back. As that does occur and we get clearer skies out there, the temperatures will go down. I got to show you something. Storm Tracker 5000. You know, I heard uh, John Hickey talking about this earlier, and I was like, what? That's snow, everybody. As you get into the mountains, Waitsfield, over toward Warren, we've got some snow coming down, parts of the Adirondacks as well. I mean, it's light. We're not talking about accumulating snows or anything like that, but it's just, you got to be kidding me. A few, uh, a few others seeing a little bit of rain, but that's about it. Bottom line, though, this stuff is going to clear out. We've got clearing to the north, and this stuff's going to make it on in as the wind does pull back. All right, what about the Vermont City Marathon? What can we expect weather-wise? We can expect good-looking stuff. Now, it's going to be a cool start. 50 degrees at 8 o'clock. So I think for the runners, not bad. They were telling me today over at the Sheridan that that sounds about right. Partly cloudy, 10 o'clock. Noon time, we've got a mix of sun and clouds. Getting warmer by then, 68 degrees. And then during the afternoon, we're actually going into the 70s. This is Futurecast, all right? One o'clock in the morning, a few clouds around, but the trend is going to be for clearing. Saturday is going to be a pretty terrific day. It's going to be on the cool side, unseasonably cool. Mostly sunny skies, few clouds by late in the day. Tomorrow night, well, relatively quiet. Could find a few clouds here and there. Watch what happens on Sunday, though. We're going to call it partly sunny to the north. Farther south you go, I think the more clouds, uh, or the fewer clouds, I should say, you run into. And the flip side occurs as you go into, say, the Northeast Kingdom, where by late in the day, there's the chance for a rain shower, but the likelihood is just plain not that great. Clearing skies out there tonight. It's going to be cold. 34 degrees, that is the low temperature in the Champlain Valley. You get away from the valley. It's going to be colder than that for many of us. For tomorrow, mostly sunny. Pretty nice day. 64 in Burlington, 63 in Plattsburgh. We're in the mid 60s up and down the Connecticut River Valley. So, five day forecast. Let's break this thing down for you. 64 degrees at your high tomorrow. It is going to be a cold start to the day. And don't worry about your plants. Come tomorrow night, we're going to be just fine. We go from 64 to 48 degrees. Marathon Sunday, looking good. 76, that's the high temperature. But remember, that's actually later in the afternoon. For race time, it's going to be cool. Cooler than that, and I think uh, certainly more comfortable for the runners. Now, on Memorial Day Monday, we've got the chance for a couple of showers, especially later in the day, but not a bad day. We're going to keep that in the forecast, though, 75 degrees, and then we get into this pattern. Look at Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to be warm, 82, then 83 degrees, with scattered rain showers around, especially. In the afternoon. Now, maybe some scattered showers still on Thursday. We're still in the 80s, 81. And then Friday at this point, a little bit early, but it looks good with a mix of sun and clouds and the high that day, 83.